there cover the foot used by my blocks the layup attempt. That's big time by Young. Lakers regain the lead. Sports TV back again with another video. Before I get in, uh, like, share, subscribe to the channel. It also helps the channel, boost the channel on the way to a thousand subscribers. Hopefully, I can get there by April. Maybe not by, not by the end of this month, but hopefully by April, but you never know. All right, um, just a heads up. There will be no show tonight as well. I think I already posted that, but uh, I might try to make the, the show, the next show, which probably will be tomorrow, actually. Trying to make the show more interactive with the viewers and the guests. So, um, so that's on the horizon. But, I had to make this video. It will be my last video of the day probably because I do have other things to do for the other channel. And other stuff outside of YouTube. Uh, I had to make this. Oh, I made a video earlier about Anthony Davis, right? About him not playing last night against the Houston Rockets. But here's the thing. I also made a meme earlier with uh, Giannis looking at Anthony Davis. Here's a word I don't want to hear anymore with Anthony Davis. I know plenty of people went in on him. Shout out to Basketball Facts for his uh, comedy today, roasting Anthony Davis. And so, I ain't even some. 100% agree. I'm not going to try to go in like Basketball Facts does. I'm not doing that. That's that's his own thing. He over there sounded like the next coming of Papoose over there. Shout out to his channel. But uh, here's one thing I never want to hear anymore about Anthony Davis. I never want to hear him in the same sentence as Tim Duncan, Carl Malone, Charles Barkley, Dirk Nowinski, Kevin Garnett. Especially don't want to hear him in the same na same sentence as Giannis. I especially never want to hear that ever again from anybody's mouth. We're probably gonna hear it again, but for FS1, ESPN, all these other rinkety dink big media shows, whatever out there, I never want to hear Anthony Davis and Giannis in the same sentence other than they play in the NBA. I don't want to hear about nothing. Anthony Davis being better than Giannis. I don't want to hear it. We shall not have it no more. Oi. I'm done. I don't want to hear it. Everybody talk about, yeah, Anthony Davis is more skilled. He's more skilled. He's more skilled. The motherfucker can't even get on the court. Pardon my language. I might have to use a few certain choice words in this video. But the nigga can't even get on the freaking court. He can't play back to back. You just turned 30. 30 is not old. Not even in the NBA. That's not old. And you can't play back to back. You can get on Kawhi Leonard all day for this. But this guy, you guys are fighting for your playoff lives. LeBron's already sitting on the bench. Already. And here you go. Want to sit on the bench next to him holding his hand. Because you don't want to play back-to-backs. This man, you can have all the talent in the world, but if you don't got it mentally to go out there and go get it, you're worthless. He's on, I, I heard somebody say not too long ago that he's almost on, Anthony Davis is almost on the level of Ben Simmons. I was thinking, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. And then he pulls this stunt. And then, yes, he is almost on the level of Ben Simmons mentally because he can't go out there and go win. The Houston Rockets <laughs> is a team that is a team full of high schools, basically, or college players. Some of the dudes on Houston Rockets just got out of high school probably two or three years ago. And he's scared to go against them. And even if the Lakers said, no, you can't play. I'm going to try to worry about your foot. You say, scrap that. I'm going out there and going to play. We're fighting for our playoff lives. And I made a video not too long ago, probably a couple of months ago. I said, this is the softest generation. And here, Anthony Davis and Ben Simmons as well are at the forefront of being a spokesman and mascot for the NBA being the softest generation. This NBA is the softest generation I ever seen before. 
So as I go again, I never want to hear Anthony Davis with the greats, power forwards, ever again. Because I was reading somewhere. Let me get it right quick. Let me look at my phone. Uh, it was Hoops Hype. They got the list of top 10, or top 20 actually, I think. Top 20 power forwards of all time. And guess where Anthony Davis is at on this list? He is number nine. And in front of him, not in front of him, well, in front of him is, uh, of course, Tim Duncan, uh, Dirk, KG, Karl Malone, um, Giannis, Charles Barkley, Bob Pennett, Elvin Hayes, and then you have Anthony Davis. But below him, you got Kevin McHale. I'm putting Kevin McHale in front of him now. Paul Gasol, you know, Paul Gasol was seen as soft, but once Kobe laid his ass out and put the battery in his back, uh, all that was over. So I'm putting him, Paul Gasol, in front of Anthony Davis, Dolph Shays in front of Anthony Davis. Shoot, I'm putting Chris Bosh in front of Anthony Davis. I'm especially putting Dennis Rodman in front of Anthony Davis. If you realize I made a pause right quick, because number 15 on this list is Draymond Green. At this point, I'm putting Draymond Green in front of Anthony Davis, Chris Webber in front of Anthony Davis, Jerry Lucas in front of Anthony Davis, Dave the Butcher in front of Anthony Davis. But shout out to uh, Too Raw for his video today about Dave, uh, Dave the Butcher. Bobby Jones and LaMarcus Aldridge and all in front of Anthony Davis. I never want to hear great and Anthony Davis in the same sentence ever again. He is not that dude. He is not the Lakers future as they all hope. He's not it. I don't know what's going to happen to him. He's a disgrace to all the Lakers in front of him. Kobe's looking down. Call him softer Charmin. He's a disgrace. He's a disgrace to the position of Paul Ford. Disgrace to the Lakers. Disgrace. It's just a disgrace. And really, people thought that he can lead the Lakers once LeBron goes into the quiet place, goes away. But you got to look at it. He never could lead the Pelicans anywhere. Really? He thought he just thought he could enjoy uh, LeBron James. It'd be all peaches and cream. Nope. Mm-mm. No, mm. You're supposed to be the new way. And here you go, ducking the baby Houston Rockets. But it's funny though how the media gets on Giannis for whole whatever, talking about oh, he got a cheap ass ring. KD's foot was a lie. KD's foot was a lie. Giannis, Giannis is freaking robbing the Chris Middleton Batman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Giannis played on the super team when he won a ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is doing anything to freaking discredit Giannis. But Giannis is going out here putting 36 on niggas' heads. Sacramento Kings. Actually, he put 46 on the Kings. He put 36 on the Suns' head. Putting 55 on Kawhi and Paul George. I think it was 50. Put 55 on Chris Topples. Put 50s on everybody. Put cases on everybody. But he don't got no respect. But we got here LeBron James when they won that bubble ring. I'm here to finally demand my respect. Shut your ass up, punk. Ain't nobody gonna give you respect. If what we think is true comes out to be true, you ain't really getting no more respect anymore. You don't get disrespected. So it's like your kids disrespecting your ass by wearing Jordan's shoes and not your punk ass shoes. But I ain't going to talk about LeBron. I had enough of him already until he does something else stupid. But like I said, in conclusion, I never want to hear anything about Anthony Davis being associated with great, better than Giannis, better than Tim Duncan ever again. Because if I hear it again, I'm getting on this mic again, roasting whoever says that. Let it be that balding ass Stephen A. Smith, that horsehead ass Shannon Sharp, that freaking devil faced Dracula ass. Skip Bayless or whoever. Putting cases on all y'all.